Hello everybody and welcome back to today's new video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to install ACS guns. It's only going to be for R6 characters. So this is R6. This is like the character that we're going to use. And this is R15 and we're not going to use this because otherwise it won't work. So, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to game settings. Go to avatar. And normally it's going to be R15, but you're going to have to want to click R6. If you don't click R6, then the gun guns won't work. So ACS, you probably know what it is, but in case for those who don't know what it is, it's an FPS gun system. That That's pretty realistic. It has an energy system. I think it even has a health and thirst system. And it also even has a medical system, so you can use medical stuff to heal yourself, etc. Alright, so once you've done that, you're gonna you're gonna wanna go open the toolbox, which is under home. You're gonna go into home, click on toolbox right here, and this this thing is gonna pop out just like that. What you're gonna wanna do is type in ACS. That's all, and click the first one you see, which is ACS 1.7.5. Once you've done that, click right here. We're gonna open up the folder. You can delete this and tools, you can put them right in starter pack already. Where, where If it says ungroup in workspace, then you have to ungroup it in workspace, ungroup in starter character scripts, ungroup it in starter char character scripts, etc. So it's pretty easy from, from here. Just do what the, the models tell you to do. Remember, once you place the model inside of the folder, remember to ungroup them. And if you want, this is optional. You can go get AC, ACS AI. So that means you're gonna have like robots playing against you. So we're gonna get the AI gunner just for now. And if you do, you have to take this, the enemy container and ungroup it in replicated storage. And also this is for the footsteps, which makes it even more realistic. So basically, once you start running or or you walk on metal, it's gonna have like a metallic bouncing sound. Same thing for sand. If you if you're gonna walk on sand, and it's gonna be like like you're walking on sand basically, which is pretty cool. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and test it. And as you see right here on the bottom left, we're gonna have a compass, and on the bottom right, we're gonna have characters showing what what action you're doing. So we're gonna test a gun. Shoots pretty smoothly. Did so you see it's first person? And what I really like about it is that when, like the materials have different hit effects. So like when you hit the wood, then there's going to be wood particles coming out of it. And when you hit metal, there's going to be like metallic sparks. It's like that, which is pretty cool. And with these, basically what you, you, you can do, you press control. And then you can choose and you can do attach rappel. I don't know what's like what the point of that is, but it can be for some cool operations or stuff like that. This is for the same thing apparently. This is for this door, you can open it or close it, just like that. This you can even unlock it and then open and close it this one same thing you can crouch or prone um, you can load the chamber by pressing f crouch by by pressing c prone by pressing x no 
prone by pressing C two times. Um, if you want to get back up, then you just click X. And then if you want to stand up, you click X again. Um, you can run by uh, holding shift. You can aim with a right click. And fire with the left click. Reload by pressing R. And change modes with by V. Alright, so that's interesting, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to customize them. So first thing we're gonna do is go into whatever gun you want. So I'm just gonna choose one, otherwise the inventory will be too full and it's gonna make things complicated. So I'll just choose the M4A1. And for if you wanna take away, if you wanna disable the energy system, what you wanna, what you wanna gonna do is go to Rough plate storage, go to server configuration, configuration, and you can change everything here. You can change the run walk speed, how fast you walk. And if you want to take out the medical system, you just go to, the, go to line 55 and you type in false instead of true. You can take off uh, fall damage, stuff like that. Enable stamina, false. We don't want that. Enable hunger, no. And core GY health, put that to true if you want. You can choose team kill. So if you don't want your team, like your own team to kill you, kill you just put that to false. And there we go. Now if you wanna, uh, customize the weapon you're gonna go into the weapon go to ACS modulo variables and then go to settings and then you can choose the damage right here so for example for if you hit a limb then you're gonna do 10 to 20 damage or torso let's say 30 50 and for the head Let's do 70 to 100. So basically that means that if you hit the head, then it's gonna, then you're gonna have a random number between 70 and 100 damage. Same for the torso, torso damage, you're gonna have between 30 and 50. Same for the limbs, it's gonna be 10 to 20. You can even customize the bullets right here. Fast reload is if, if you don't wanna load the chamber. So if you put that to false, then you're gonna have to press F every time you reload for a automatic gun and press F every time you fire for a bolt gun. There we go. And if you wanna change the gun appearance, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go into gun models, go to client, find that gun, um, name it, name the first one uh, one, Put it in workspace. Go to and then go to gun models and then go to server. Find the same gun again. And then name it two. And then add a two at the end. Basically, the one and the two are so that we know so that we can recognize which one is which. So what we're gonna do is this is all the things that we can customize. So let's say we want to make the gun uh, bright green. Then we have to do it. Same thing for the other one. And let's say we want to make the mag magazine blue. Um, do the same thing for the other one. There we go. So now we customized. We can even customize the material of the gun. You can even go as far as making it wood planks, which is a bit weird, but you can do it. So do whatever you want. You can even make it brick. That kind of looks a bit stupid. So we're gonna make it brick for now, for absolutely no reason, because it looks funny. So then what you're gonna do is put them back, put this one into server and name it, take off the number. You have to take off the number or else it won't work. You have to put the exact name of the gun. There we go, and we're gonna play, we're gonna test it. 
Let's equip the gun, and as you see, it's a really weird, a really weird color and texture and material, but it still works perfectly. Nothing wrong with it. And this is how Phantom Forces is able, how you are able to customize your gun in Phantom Forces. And this is kind of the same way you're able to customize your gun in Phantom Forces. I think they use the same gun system. Of course not exactly, but I think they also use the SES, ACS um, system. Anyways, that was it for today. Um, comment if, if something didn't work for you, I'll try to help you if I can. Comment what you want to see in the next video. Uh, leave a like on the video if it, if it helped, if you enjoyed. Please subscribe. Alright, so see you in the next video.